السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام برادر اعجاز ہاؤ آر یو الحمدللہ برادر آئی ایم ڈوئنگ ویری ویل تھینک یو السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام وعلیکم السلام برادر عابد وعلیکم السلام ڈو یو سی مائی اسکرین یس اوکے جسٹ گیو می ا کوئک سیکنڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو سٹاپ شیئرنگ فار ا سیکنڈ اینڈ All right. All right. Can you see my screen now? <clears throat> Everybody able to see my screen now? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Is the sound quality okay? The sound is good? Yes. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay, inshallah, we'll start. Um, Nahmaduhu. Okay, somebody's... Uh, let's see if it's mine or yours. Hold on a sec. I'm muted. So, is somebody... I, I don't know who, who that might be. Somebody needs to mute themselves, I guess. Is it better now? I think it's better. All right. So, Nahmutuhu wa nusalli ala rasooli al-kareem. Amma ba'ad, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ir-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ir-Rahim. قال الله تعالى ان هدى الله هو الهدى وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم من تعلم القران وعلمه صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله الكريم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ارحمني بال اللهم ارحمني بالقران العظيم وج الهلي اماما ونورا وهدى ورحمه وج ال وج الهلي حجتا يا رب العالمين امين ثم امين ربي يسر ولا تؤثر وتمم الخير سو الحمد لله ونس اجين وذ ذا مرسي اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى وي ار هير اند از يو جايز نو توداي از اور سيكند لاست كلاس مينينغ ذات نيكست ويك ويل بي هاف ذا فاينل كلاس and inshallah we'll wrap up this uh, this course so jazakallah khairan for your continuous support and uh, and the hard work i'm uh, so before i say anything assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam how's everyone doing today alhamdulillah okay good so um what do i want to say today okay so first thing i wanted to talk about was the uh, you know the um, the hadith i sent you earlier let me see if i can find it um it was here somewhere in here did you guys take a look at this hadith did anybody got a chance yes. to look at that yes yes So yesterday the Juma khutbah was about the virtues of people who learn and I mean especially learn the the deen so it was a whole 30 minutes of virtues about the people who are seeking knowledge so i thought that this is the extreme mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that 
by default, oh. or Alhamdulillah, at the moment we are among this group, right? Um, and uh, so let me just quickly read this so that we feel happy together. So, so whoever travels a path in search of knowledge, then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will ease for him the path to paradise. Now, this might be a very simple sentence, but the meaning is great. I mean, if we get paradise just by seeking knowledge, then that's a very easy path. So verily, the angels lower their wings for the seeker of knowledge. Verily, the inhabitants of the heavens and the earth, even the fish in the depth of the water will seek forgiveness for the scholar. But since we are not scholars yet, but still we are on the path to learn the, the language of the Quran. Verily, the virtue of the scholar over the worshipper is as the superiority of the moon over the stars. And verily, the scholars are the inheritors of the prophets. They do not leave behind gold or silver coins, but rather they leave behind knowledge. So whoever has taken hold of it has been given an abundant share. And this is a Hassan Hadith from Sunan Abi Dawud. Now, Another um, thing I learned or heard in the halakha that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, wants khair for someone like you and me, then he makes the knowledge, the knowledge of the deen easy for them or he gives them the knowledge of the deen. Does that make you feel happy too? That yes. Alhamdulillah, we are, our heart is in the right place and week after week we are trying to seek this knowledge. So to so in this busy life, I think we once in a while we should stop and can ponder about these things and and pat yourself on the back that, that Alhamdulillah, this is not only my effort, but this also seems like Allah's um, way of elevating my statuses or giving me a big blessing. Yeah. So may Allah yes. subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in our knowledge and we should just keep reciting the law. Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Yeah? That's the dua Rasulullah was told to, to recite. Okay. So where are we today? Uh, we are in the second last session of the class. We started uh, the the Maz, the uh, Phil Mazi Mazid families or not the uh, am I getting this mixed up here. Salasi Mujarrat and Salasi Mazid Fi families. There are, total of them are 16, but in the Quran, the first 10 are the most frequently used. So we are focused on those 10 and we are pretty much at the end of those classes. Now, in a nutshell, if please let me know, are you guys feeling comfortable? Did you grasp the idea, the concept, and you know what is going on? Can somebody help me out a little bit here? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay, one at a time. So, Brother Khalid, you go ahead. So, what do you what do you got out of this this course, or what do you think where you are heading, and what is you what are you learning? Yeah. So, Salasi Majarit was you know mostly we look into the individual person, uh, somebody did the work or somebody will be doing the work. But in okay. Sarasi Majarat Fi, we are looking for more than three words. Plus, there are different, you know, like um, uh, word, uh, speeches, word of me, uh, you know, how to, uh, you know, if some, uh, it, uh, it's kind of mutadi between multiple people, we can, how to, to uh, you know, uh, understand the, the, the discussion between multiple people. Okay, so so the very basic concept is, you're right, uh, what we are looking at, or what we have been looking at is that our basic form is the 99.9% .9 of all the nouns and words in Arabic are made of three, three, letters, three letter words. Right? And to understand those words across the board, we, the people of Arabic language has chosen the fa, ayin, and lam as the, the default learning pattern, which becomes fa'ala. The madi pattern for fa, ayin, and lam is become fa'ala. So if you, if you look at the chart I'm showing right now, 
Uh, can you guys see this little image I'm showing? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, so look at what's going on. We are looking at from Bob one to eight. Yes, these are the form two to 10 or two to nine. Now, the first one was if all, if all. right? Remember, we started from if all. Yep. Yes. And if you look at the Madi for that, you have Afala. So, how many total haruf? Four. 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 So, how many addition? One. 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 Right? So, we said that Salasi Mujarrad will always be three letters. There will be no change. And because of those three letters, we had six families. But when yeah. we added to that family one extra letter, which is the alif in this case, so it becomes if alun. Yeah. So look at the last fi. Yeah, look at the last column. So it says Bab number, which means the family number, Huruf ki tadad, then the number of letters, and the Madi patron, the name of the family, and the extra letters, Zaid Huruf. And here is color coded. So anything in red is what you see, the extra letter. Now, this image helping you visualize this, like the, yes. the concept, uh, is this helping you visualize yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, and this container, you can see it in two ways. You can see in terms of the letters, Alif, Fa, Ain, Lam. But this pattern could also be understood in terms of the harakas. So it's always yeah. going to be Fatha, Sukun, Fatha, Fatha. Making sense? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so to visualize this, think about this. If alun is one extra letter, okay? Taf'ilun, also the Mahdi pattern is fa'ala. Fa so fa is there an extra ayn? Yes. Okay, good. So fa is there, ayn is there, lam is there, an additional ayn was introduced which with the sukoon. So it becomes fa'ala, right? So we're not saying the, the, the additional letters to the bab, actually the to the Madi pattern. Mm -hmm. yeah? So it is also one extra letter. What about Mufa'alatun? And the Madi pattern is Fa'ala. Yes? Fa yes? Yeah. How many extra letters in here? One. 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 So you can say that there are three families which have one additional letter in them. And what are those families? If alun, alun yes, okay. Then we had the tafa ulun, which is tafa ala, right? How many letters in tafa ala? Five. Five. So this is a family with how many additional letters? Two. 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 Everybody with me on this? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So then you can see that. In addition to the original fa, ayn, and lam, there is an additional ta in the beginning and additional ayn in the middle, which makes it shadda, right? Because the ayn with the sukoon and then the haraka, that, that means yeah. there will be shadda and the haraka will be written on top of the, the shadda. If the haraka is written on top, it is fatha. If it is written underneath, then it is the kasra. That is style of writing. Yeah. <clears throat> so that on the same pattern we have tafa ulun and the Madi pattern was tafa ala. Yes. Yeah. How many letters? Five. 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 So two additional letters. Ta fa ain lam. Ain and lam. Ta and alaf. Yes. Then we have if the alun. Yes. Yeah. Then also two if, extra if, letters. If ta ala. If the Allah, right? Uh -huh. Then <clears throat> and then there is another one which is in, in fa -ala -ala. Lun. And the, the Mahdi is in Fa'ala, right? Now this is the pattern we are going to learn today, in Fa'ala, right? But how many letters in this? How many five, families five. with two additional letters? Tafa'alu or Tafa'alu? Tafa'alu Tafa'alu Ifti'alun. If the alun in the alun. 
So a group of one letter is three families. Two fam two letters is group of one, four. two, three, four. four families. And then there is the istifala. You see that istifa ulun. Istifa ulun. Istifa ulun. Right. So there is six letters. That means there are three additional letters, which is this istif, right? Alif, seen, and ta. Istifala. So this is how you should understand. There's another way to understand what we have been learning. <coughs> Any comments on this? Um, Brother Abid, uh, you mentioned, I think it was uh, tafa olin, tafa olin, where you said if it's fata, um, then it's on the top. I, I missed that part. If you can repeat that, please. So this word here, tafa ala, mm -hmm. is shadda. Shadda means this ayin is repeating. Sure, yeah. Right? And if you open it up, then you know that there is one ayin with the sukoon okay. and one ayin with the fatha. Yeah? Correct. So the style of writing is that if they write the fatha on top of the shadda, then it is a fatha. Ah, okay. If it's written right. underneath the shadda, then it's a kasra. Okay. Okay? And if okay. the dhamma is always going to be written on top because the mall will go on the top. Yeah, yeah? sure. The yeah. style of writing. Okay, exactly. so this, oh yeah. yeah. So this yeah. image should give you a good, you know, like a summary of what we have learned mm -hmm. and what is so special about them is how many additional letters. And this, this right column is very important too because this tells you the position of the additional letter and also the haraka. Yeah. ಜಾಕಲ್ಲಾಹಿರನ್ಬ್ರದರ್ಬರ್ಟ್ವೆರಿ So the very first pattern is fa'ala, which we know already. So I did not bother giving it to you. This is the that one. That was that was salasa salasi mujarat. Salasi mujarat. So this is a chart because salasi salasi means three. So right now we are towards the end. So I'm trying to give you a summarized view of so that we know what we have been learning. So in today's class, we are trying to cover this in fi'alun and istifalun. Okay. Yeah. But you need to understand what, how the classification is. The, there are one additional letter and there is a group of three families. With two additional letters, there is a group of four families. And with uh, three additional letters, there is only one family. Okay. And this, this container, it tells you where the, the alphabet or the letter is going to go mm -hmm. and also what is the haraka on top of that. Making sense? Yeah, no, 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 great this one. I, 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 no, I, 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 I was just one comment. If we add up one additional column with the uh, with the with the form of speech like if uh, you know if I don't, that will make it a little bit more okay, clear so, in terms of the right. The what's happening is I was getting this done in the PowerPoint way. <laughs> so yeah, like, there's no space. Uh, <laughs> yes, but, but the thing is, some things are not in my control. so the brother is going through some uh, some medical condition may so like he was not able may to like be that yeah but because, yeah inshallah so what i was going to do uh, this is something i was uh, i was getting done for you guys and it's still not complete so i'm not showing it today i was going to show it next time but let me tell you what i've been working on okay so look at this one so if you look at this Let me get my picture out of the way. Okay, so we say siga, if alun, taf ilun, mufa alatun, tafa ulun, tafa ulun, if the alun, infi alun, istif alun. So these are the eight new families 
we learned. Yes. Yeah. So then I was going to give you something like this. And this is mudare pattern. Yeah. Okay. Wahid mudakkar gaib. Yuf ilu. Yuf yufa ilu. Yufa ilu. Right. Yatafa alu. Yatafa alu. Yafta ilu. Yanfa ilu. And yastaf ilu. Got it? Yeah. What is yeah. this? This is the 14. This yes. Is the uh, oh. girdan of the 14 patterns. Now, Baid I have, been, Baid Baid Baid. I have yeah. been giving you this all along. Yeah. But I yeah. wanted to do it this way so that we could also test our, like this could be a quiz sort of thing. So, Tasniya Muzakkar Gaib. You get the yuf. idea? Yeah. So the Madi chart is still in, in progress. So in the next class, inshallah, when we do our uh, closing closing of the subject, inshallah, we will go through this together. Making sense? Okay. So, so the question I was asking earlier, that in our mind, we should be very crystal clear that what did we learn and what, where are we heading? And, and in doing each family, I have been highlighting the characteristics of that family, right? So if, if, if you have not done the, the, uh, the review or if you have not looked at the material I have provided, and if you go back and look at it, and maybe Sister Unaida could be my witness testimonial, there is a lot of information, yes? Yes, Alhamdulillah. So if you look at it, inshallah, if you have any doubts or any misconception or not very clear, everything will go away because there is a lot of information in a very presentable way. So with being said that, let's say, let's start with our family call in Fi'alun. Okay. First of all, look at the words we already know with that pattern, but we never knew that they are on the pattern of in Fi'al. Okay. In Kilab. In Kishab. Okay. In Kishab. In Hira. Right. In Fita. Now there are four surahs, three or four surahs in the last juz, where this pattern, the name of the surah is also on this pattern. In Shikar, in Fitar, and there is one more Takweer. And the yeah. wording yeah. inside, I'm going to show you, inshallah, you will see that. Today you will see the other side, like you will find, oh wow, this is what you know what we have been looking at, and this is where it's coming from. Okay. In Shika, yeah. And in Shira. In Shira. In Hisar. In Hitar. In, in Hitar. Hitar. In Kita. Okay, so once we give you the list of these words, now tell me. I can't see your hand, but you can quickly uh, tell me by your uh, in a quick comment. Are you familiar with these words being from a continent of sub India, Pakistan, and uh, you know, and even from yes, yes. or Afghanistan? Yeah, most of them. Yes. These words are part of our vocabulary, correct? In in Hitat, I didn't see, but uh, but I don't. I yeah. For example, in Hisar, karna. No, no. In Hisar is different, and in Hitat. In Hitat. Is different. For example, in fitar is mean to explore. Yep. Okay. To phat jana ki iska. In shikar is also similar meaning. Phat yep. jana. Phat jana. To explore. And in shirah is like you have shirah sadr. Like you have, you are not clear about something and then all of a sudden you, you know it. You see? In hisar is depend. Dependent. So, ये जो हमारी class है, इसकी कामयाबी का इन हिसार आप लोगों की participation पर, right? So अगर आप participate करेंगे, so I depend on it because if you yes, are not yes. present today, who am I going to teach, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So in हिसार means you depend on something. Now, ये जो uh, let's look at the first of all the Madi pattern, then we'll talk about the characteristics. So you know what. Fa'ala. You see that fa'ala? You see fa'ala? Yes. Isn't, isn't that our 
what haraka it has Kasra. 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 so that means it is going to act like hamzatul wasl mm -hmm. yes yeah hamzatul wasl and and it is it is a hamzatul wasl in this family this alif is going to act like hamzatul wasl got it yeah okay so look at the mudare pattern yan fa'ilu right yan fa'ilu Yeah, so it's yeah. very easy, right? In faala, yan faalu, and the master will be in, in faalun. So if I can say this is in faalun, which is the the rafa, uh, rafa. Term, right? The, yes. But we we've been saying that that the, when we are most commonly master, in the yeah, yeah the in master, master is usually in the in nasab nasab pattern. Hey, uh, Sister Lumna is missing today. <laughs> Is she there? No, she's not. Okay, no worries. Um, so, so if you if you have to say, um, is are in this pattern, in faala, so it will become in kasara. Yes. Yeah. In kilab, in kalaba. Yes. Yeah. So yes. Wh why am I giving you? Why? Okay. So again. This fa'ain lam doesn't give you much meaning, right? But this is our default container in Arabic grammar. But your job is to now put Replace these it. words into this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another exercise we can quickly do. If I say somebody gives me the root letters from inkila, right? The Half root lam. letters are fa'ain lam. lam, right? So what are you going to give me for inkila? Half lam, lam ba. ba. Kaf lam ba. Why? Because you know that it is the fa ain lam together, and only addition is in in right. Mm -hmm. So, what is the uh, root letter in in kisar? Kaf si ra. Kaf si malifa. In kishaf. Kishaf si kaf si ba. Okay. So you got you got the idea, right? Yeah. Because sooner or later, I'm going to be doing one complete exercise. we will we take the word and we will learn how to extract the root letters and then we'll how we guess the family of that word without looking at the dictionary first but then eventually if we couldn't find out then we go look where in the dictionary making sense mm. yeah is sister nasreen with us today yes alhamdulillah i'm listening okay good 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 okay is brother javed here today yes i can see him javed sir Yes, Alhamdulillah, I'm with you. So, Brother Javed uh, was second, third to in right. log in today. Right. right. So I want to because the reason I asked because I wanted to thank him, uh, say Jazakallah Khairan because he brought me this Mashallah very beautiful cap from uh, Saudi. So Mashallah, I it, Mashallah. Mashallah. Just to thank him, and Inshallah, I hope I'm looking more uh, angelic today. <laughs> 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 okay good this is white is good color i like it that okay. is why i was uh, curious that you are looking uh, so smart today <laughs> okay any only today <laughs> no no but with this cap you are looking extra yeah. smart today. alhamdulillah so alhamdulillah. that's why he, he has always been smart he looks bright today <laughs> yeah right yes, so yes i just wanted are... to take this opportunity to thank brother javed mashallah jazakallah <laughs> khair Okay, so we're getting some baraka from Makkah, you know, as well with this uh, with this cap. Okay, Mashallah. all right. So now we looked at that. So now the next goal we have is how to know the fourteen variation. And we know that once we know the root <coughs> pattern, all we have to do is now infa ala, infa ala, infa alat, infa ala ta, infa alna, infa ala. Infa, infa alat. No, infa alta. Infa alta. Infa al tuma. 
إن فعلتم إن فعلتي إن فعلتي إن فعلتما إن فعلتنا إن فعلت إن فعلنا إن فعل Similarly, when you look at the mudare, then we get that. Okay. Now, quickly, let's switch gears for a second, and let's look at this Quran, Quranic word here. Look at this. Is a sama un fatarat. Okay. Now, it un fatarat here. Yes. Okay. Is sama feminine? Yes. Okay. Yes. So aren't we going to, if I show you what I meant by that, <coughs> this is the, uh, what is this? Infa'alat. In, in yeah. Right? Infa'alat, yeah. right? Because yeah. that's Siga number four, right? Mm -hmm. And if you have to put this uh, infitar in there, yes, infitar, it will become infitarat. Infitarat, in 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 right? Infitarat. Right. So now look at this verse. Is a sama un fatarat. Okay. So now you can see that why this is important, right? Why this is, or how we can see that these are much nicer. And now we can put, uh, okay, why this uh, Hamzatul Wasl here, by the way? Oh, because of the, that uh, in fatarat. In fatarat. Our, our, yeah. Right, because if we hide, for example, um, let me see if I can. Yeah, if you hide you. the uh, alif, then you can't pronounce it for that in Fatarat properly. What I meant to say, you will understand this. If I hide this, is a sama. Can you read in Fatarat now? No. 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 So you will put a kasra here, right? That's correct. Yes. yes. Yeah. So this is how we saw in our example. That I was telling you that it has to be in fa'ala, right? In or in fitar. But when you have it in a situation where you have something coming from behind, like is a sama un fatarat, so you can omit this hamzatul was because mm -hmm. they act like hamzatul was. But are you guys finding this exciting that now you can understand that why we got in fatarat? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yes. so when you, when, if you read it and you stop it, is is as you say is a sama, then you pray in fatarat right. one word at a time. The, and look at the name of the surah in fitar. Yes. In fitar, yeah. Right. So yeah. similarly, if you look at another one in shikar, in shikar. In shikar. right? And look at this one uh, over here when it loads. Uh, is a sama un shakat. Why? Because it's sama again, again feminine. Okay. Feminine. And what is the meaning? Split, Split asunder, yeah. meaning hurt jana, uh, jana, right? Yeah. Similarly, in Shikak, we looked at and in Fitar, right? Yeah. Break and if you now read or read these verses or surahs again, you will find a lot of feminine words in them. Because it's talking about Tiyama, it's talking about fire, it's talking about, you know. So you try to focus this time, inshallah a lot of uh, new material or hopefully you'll see a big picture here yeah okay any questions on this so far is are things becoming clear by the way yes, yes. now it uh, it is more clear that why we are learning all these yes. words because all right. these words are in quran and we are trying to understand that yes very good and that adds to our vocabulary, right? Yes. And, and we also need to learn a lot of other things. So the one thing I have been not focusing on is this part. For example, if I take you here, and let's say I was looking at Surah Al-Mulk earlier, so that we can talk about it today. Just to give you an idea, uh, let's say when we look at, where is it? Ulku, for example, this word, Ulku. So this is ulku. Yeah. It's from Bab if Alu. Yeah. Aslama Yuslim. Right? So and this is surface read, meaning this is the short table. And in the short table, what are the four or five things we are after? We are after Madi Mudare. First, first pattern of Madi 
you yeah. write the first pattern of mudare yeah how to make the command out of it yeah. and who is ismul file yeah. the person doing that action what is the name of that doer and the object ismul mafool the name of the masdar and we have ismul mubalga and sifat mushabba sometimes we have it sometimes we don't have it so if we have alqa right then ulku is majhul by the way yeah. see ulku is majhul and we have not learned majhul but i'm telling you that means it's a passive voice uh if alqa you know he threw or they throw but ulku they were thrown yeah that making sense yeah majhul is when something is happening to the file yeah okay so, so this is how go ahead sorry so when uh, when file is unknown when the file is unknown you write so they are thrown so this is how we read that and this is sarfe sagir if i ask you for sarfe kabir from this one siga you will give me how many 14 14 from yulki you will give me how many 14. 14 right and what are those 14 these ones 14 for madi yes yeah 14 for, for mudari so and imagine each one of them is one sentence yes yes so how, imagine from one family when you do the sarfe kabir how big of the information you're going to get out of So very important to keep that in mind. So when I supplement my presentation with this chapter, which I have included for you, so this is also giving you the same table. But what is this table? If you ever bother to read it, if you read it next time, you will get that surface a read out of it. Now in this one, they give you the three columns for passive, which we have not covered, right? Yeah. But look at. past tense in faala yes mm. imperfect mudare yan failu yes imperative in failu and the verbal noun meaning the masdar is in fi'alu and the active participle ismul fa'il ismul maful fa'ilun mun fa'ilun okay and then they're giving an example if they have to put the word fajara in this family the past tense will become in fajara, fajara. and the madi mudari will become yan fajiru and the imperative will be in farij <laughs> right and the masdar will be in fijar mm. same thing as in what was the name we just said in in fita remember in fita. that yeah okay so here some examples from the quran fan fajarat min husnata ashrata aina okay now fan fajar fajar kya hota hai fajar what is subah ka waqt subah ka waqt yani subah jo pu subah ki pu phutna matlab subah yes. roshni phutti hai yeah. to andhere mein se roshni nikalti bhi nazar aati hai right yeah lagta hai ki din raat mein se nikal ke bahar aa raha hai fajar right jaise agar agar hum kahin zameen mein seed dalen तो वो पहले उसकी कॉम्पल सी निकलती है तो वो जमीन को फाड़ के निकलती है ना यस yes. राइट right? तो हजरत हजरत मूसा सलाम ने जब असा मारा था पत्थर के ऊपर तो पत्थर फट के उसमें से कितने चश्मे निकले थे बारह राइट सो लुक इट फन फजरत अब जो आईना है वर्ड आईना स्प्रिंग चश्मा mm-hmm. वो मेल है या फीमेल है राइट फीमेल yeah. है पानी के जो हमने बोला था पानी आग इस तरह की वो फेमिन mm. तो कौन सा सीगा इस्तेमाल हुआ फन फजर बड़ी तो सीगा नंबर फोर फोर सो इफ इफ वी वर डूइंग दिस यू नो गिरदान देन यू टेक वन वर्ड एंड यू मेक दोस फोर्टीन वेरिएशन बाय नाउ यू विल बी ऑन योर फिंगर टिप्स फन फजर सीगा नंबर फोर सीगा नंबर टू सीगा नंबर थ्री सीगा नंबर फोर्टीन राइट so you can see that why this chart is so important if we didn't know about this word like this in faalat then we would have trouble understanding fan fajara so what happened here 
we have put the word fa jim and ra what is our fain and lam kalima fajara letter fajara right because we know in faala the fa ain and lam comes together fajara. in the mari pattern how many people can see this yes yes okay good so if we can get this far right that at least you are able to yes brother sorry brother i sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. um this in siga uh, mm -hmm. sorry not siga in uh, in faalun mm -hmm. uh, master is in faalun or in faalun mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. there is both correct so what about in faalun when you look at in faalun we are saying is a masdar yes masdar is the basically a noun and what is a noun noun is a ism yes correct and any ism can have three statuses yes yeah rafa yes. nasab and jar yeah. so if i call it if i say it in rafa i'm going to say it in fi a lun if i say oh. it in nasab i'm going to say in fi a lun oh, okay. if i say it in jar i'm going to say in fi a lin yeah. all right sense? yeah so, all right thank you very much yeah, yeah. yeah. so So the first example is fan fajarat min husnata ashrata aina. So twelve springs gushed out. Fan fajarat gushed out from it. Min who from it? Okay. By now I hope that this little information you already know. Min who mean from it. Asnata ashra twelve. Ashra is ten. Isna is two. So two plus ten is twelve. Aina. Is the plural it's for ain? Ain is also eyes and also for springs. Spring. Okay. So look at now. I'm trying to show you this document so that you understand some of the properties or characteristics of this family called anfaala or infaala. So sometimes words of this form might have a complete new meaning from their salasi mujarab root. So if you say talaka, what does that mean? To be freed from bond, talak, talak, याद है? Something similar to talak, right? Talaka. But if you put the in in front of it, then it becomes to proceed to depart in talaka. Now, who can tell me where you have seen the in talaka? In one surah we read every Friday. In talaka hatta surah. Surah al kaf. Surah al kaf. Surah al kaf. In talaka means वो चला उसने कुछ किया. मीनिंग So the transitive root verb is changed to intransitive in the in the form of the verb. Now you might think that what is transitive and what is intransitive. We have been talking about it, yeah. and the 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 key words we've been using is fili ladim and fili mutaadi. Right? If I say kasara to break, am I going to break something else? Is something right? Yes. yes. So that is both. Lazim, I mean, it has file and mafool, right? But if if I say in kasara to be broken, do be I broke. have a mafool here? No. No. Yes. no. Something to be broken itself. No. You follow? So yes. the intransitive, uh, if I'm not making a mistake, is lazim, and transitive is mutaadi. Making sense? Yeah. Now, any question about lazim and mutaadi, brothers? Uh, Everybody clear on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brother uh, Abzal, what is lazim? Lazim is uh, where uh, you have to have um, uh, like mafur or. Uh, okay, so feel a lazim. You're saying you must have mafur. Right. Okay, so that is where the that is why I asked this question. पहले लाजिम इज ओनली फाइल पहले लाजिम मीन श्योर ओनली फाइल ओके 
you yeah. are not worried about the mafool. mafool. Yeah. And it's mafool easy to... is the mutahadi. Yes. Yeah, it's easy to remember with the lazim because um, when you were um, teaching us like from the beginning for verbs, yeah. so you have to have a file. So in that yes. way, you can make a connection that, you know, the one with lazim means like something necessary yes. for sure. So that's why the, own, the you know, easy to remember, I'm just saying to another brother yes. that, you know, just make that connection that lazim like necessary. So which is just file. The other one has both. Exactly. So for now on, that that's why asking questions sometimes is a good idea. If you are shy, don't be shy when seeking knowledge because uh, you will always benefit from it. So Jazakallah Sister Unaiza. So the way you remember as Sister Unaiza mentioned that by default, the minimum we need is the file. The verb has to have a file. And then it's nice if you have a mafool, but he's not right. He slept eight. And he brother Abid, yes. Uh, I, another question because um, I was referring to my old notes, and sure, fairy lazim is where file is must or focuses on um, file. But yes. we have written there fairly mutaddi, where we say file and mafool both are there, mm -hmm. but focus is an object. Yes, that's correct. That's uh, but over here we are saying in Fail Mutaddi, there is no, we don't really know what's a mafool. No, 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 no. In Mutaddi, okay. we know mafool. Mafool is no, supposed to be there. That's why it's called Mutaddi. It's actually okay. majhul that the brothers. Oh, the majhul. You maybe got it confused with the majhul. Oh, is... oh okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. okay. Thank you, Sister Homa. So, Kasara, the meaning of Kasara is to break. And if you make it in Kasara, that to be broken. If you say kata'a, that means to cut, and in kata'a, to be cut off. Okay? Fajara, to clean, dig. In fajara, to gush out. Gush out. Is the sama un fatarat. When the sky is cleft asunder, meaning when the, the sky will explode. Okay? Fun, fun, uh, fun, how do you say that? Um, that is another way of saying the same thing we just looked at over here. Pan Fajarat. Pan Fajarat. Yeah. So, similar idea, the 12 spring gushed out from it. Okay. Munfakina, Munfakina, Harika, Taki, Munfakina. Okay. So this word is Munfakina or Munfakina. Now, who can tell me what this word be? So if we look at it from Suratul, uh, what do you name? Bayyana. Uh, Bayyana. Right? Surah Bayyana. Now, who can tell me what that Munfiqin is? From the surface of it, what would you think about it? It is uh, from Mafool. Ismail? Mafool? Oh, Ismail File. Ismail File. Is Brother Khalid on the right track here? Who can help him out? Usually with the moon, uh, like Mansurun. No. It's okay. You're on the right pattern though, but think about it. Is the file or a mafool? Mafool, I would say. Mafool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Anybody else wants to take a guess before I show it? I think it's, it's a file. I think it's a file because uh, uh, because it has yeah. the moon and the okay, end, look. so it could be, yes. So there, there is, a look, if there is a fatha, I'm inclined towards the file. Okay. Yes? Because the word ina sound is the sound. Yes, of the ina sound, that's what I was trying to so say. Yes. It's a plural sound, right? Yes. yes. So look at this. Let's, let's look and see if we are correct. To be abandoned. Jama muzakkar. In kalaba yan kalibu. Right? So Ismul file is munfiq. So that is right. <laughs> I think we, okay. we are wrong. It's, it's mafool. It's mafool? Mafool, yes. yeah. But there is no mafool here. I'm surprised. Yeah, that is true. Right? So Maybe I, we are missing. There is mafool is missing here. Yes. Well, this is something we have to probably do some homework on, inshallah. We'll do yes. it, but inshallah, let's continue because we're going to be running out of time. So here, 
ین کلب الی کل بسرو خاصی ہسیر وٹ از ین کلب فرام انقلاب انقلاب رائٹ ٹو ریٹرن سو ین کلب از فرام فیل مدار پیٹرن نمبر سی کا نمبر فور رائٹ بیکاز ین کلب کلب یس اوکے ان تلی الا ما کنتم بھی تو کزیمون ان تلا رائٹ اور فرام تلا کا ریمبر دیٹ وی جسٹ لک ٹیم پروسیڈ ان تلی کو پروسیڈ ٹوورڈس دیٹ وچ یو یوز ٹو ڈینائی ان تلی کو یا ٹو بی ٹو پروسیڈ یس سو دیز ار سم اف دی ایگزامپلز فرام دا قران اینڈ آئی ایم شیور دیٹ بائی ناؤ ایٹ لیسٹ یو انڈرسٹینڈ دی کریکٹرسٹکس اف دس فیملی and some of these verses since we have read them many time now they make more sense and we can always go to this tool and we can look at these uh, wordings and we can make sense out of it making sense whether i have like yes. for example the last document that you are showing where you have provided for all uh, each yeah. bab uh, so in this one there were only two kind of uh, you know the uh, sorry the two examples that were given there like one and two like what it can be would, yep. would there be more uh sure. so this is the basic that we have to this have. is the basic right so that if we just say, need to yeah. yeah for example you say fataha what mm-hmm. is the meaning of fataha to open to open to open, to open. To open right? yeah. so if i say something uh fataha zaidun al baba right so i said zaid open the box the door the door, door. the right. door if i say an fatahal baba that means the door was open door was open yeah. right we don't care who did it but the door was open you see i took zaid out yeah. and the meaning from somebody opening the door it become the to be opened yes. so in so make fataha, it a passive sentence right it's a passive it sort of yeah. to be more like a, it becomes fil fil lazim the, the the action is happening on the, the the thing itself right right so the on the the verb is focused on the the meaning of the verb is right for itself to be opened instead of saying open ba 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 brother abid when we say uh, to be open it is the yeah. future so to be open yeah you're right but okay just maine jo urdu mein aapko samjhane ki koshish ki na try to grab that If I say the door is opened, then in fataha. Follow? Because if I'm using the maadi pattern, then it will be door is opened. It could be. Not, not like to be opened. But when kasara, they try to explain. Kasara. Opened. Yeah. So the, if I want to say darwaza khola. Okay? Darwaza khola. So maybe that is the in fataha. But at the moment you say in fataha or they put the in. that action has to happen on based on that fail okay i'll get you a, a better example inshallah okay yeah but you understand the meaning that when you put the in you are actually focused on that action itself to break to be broken the something needs to be so if i think about it then the the focus is on the maful then the, on the thing yes 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 okay inshallah we'll we'll look at that again okay The Now, focus. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. The focus seems to be on the action actually. Like if I say, brother, a bit taught the class, or I yes. say the class was taught. Mm-hmm. Um, like you're saying, um, yan fatih. But it's not mafu majhul. That's we don't want to confuse with majhul. Confuse yes. with that. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to confuse with majhul. So it is not majhul, but okay. it is the same idea that the door is opened, right? The waza hola. or the rate ko khola is tarah something like that but i'll give you a better example okay i was looking at it earlier but now my mind got jumbled up about it so i don't want to confuse you guys okay so let's look at the infal the attribute is it is used to convert mutaaddi afal into lazim okay there were some families they were changing lazim into mutaaddi but this one is going more towards the lazim part which is the the file and the hamza of bab infal is called hamzatul wasif we already covered that right mm-hmm. 
the in the beginning there was in right yeah. and the alif had the kasra and i told you that that is the hamzatul wasl and yeah. what is hamzatul wasl that if you are trying to read a word and if you can't read it then you add hamzatul wasl correct yeah. but if there are words before it and then you read from by connecting that hamzatul wasl become silent was sama un fatarat remember we looked at yeah. the alif becomes silent yes okay so look at this example in kasara yan kasiru in kisaran iska matlab hota hai toot jana in kasara kasara kisko kehte hain toda toda right toda itne toda okay so in kasara kalam in kasaral kalam kalam toot chuke hain ya toot kalam toota sahi hai okay in sarafa yan sarifu in sira fan phir jana okay in sara let's see in sarafu sarafa allah qulubahum ya in sarafu sarafa allah qulubahum any experts on translation on this one i don't see brother naseeb today what's going on is brother naseeb there sarafu sarafallahu sorry what's the meaning they 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 their hearts they denied and uh, and, uh, and their hearts are... and their heart uh, will be allah turn their hearts allah turn their hearts okay one at a time one at a time so sister homa are you trying to do it No, I I said, can you translate the pirjana for me? I don't know that. Pirjana means to to and turn to understand again. To turn away, like you turn away. So if I say something and then I totally change my uh, you know intention and I uh-huh. I deny it, that means I said something and then I return from it. Uh huh. Okay. So. so Go I ahead. Can, I can translate if I go don't ahead, know if it's correct or yeah. not. <laughs> so um, it's uh, so you said what was the mean again? So can you repeat the mean of? Tir jana, tir jana. I mean to to turn away. away from your own. Uh, deviate. Okay. Deviate. Yes, deviate. Deviate. That's the word. Deviate. Yes. So, if, so they turned away. So mm-hmm. Allah made their hearts uh, um, uh, away from that. if they okay so if i put saraf allah if i start from there ah oh, um saraf allah is a verbal sentence right yeah. saraf is the sigma number 1 yes. 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 allah will be the file yeah, yeah. so allah made their hearts their hearts their hearts their hearts mudaf mudaf ne le yeah yes so we got that part done that allah Turn their, their hearts yeah. away. Their hearts. In sarafu, yes. right? In sarafu. Now we have to look at in sarafu. In sarafu is from Bab. Uh, to be turned three. off. Page number fourteen. They turn. Yeah, they, they turn. So that and and so Allah turned their hearts. Yes, something like that. Yeah. Is that yeah. making sense? Yeah. Yes. Can, can you repeat, please? Okay, go ahead, brother Khalid. Can you please repeat? That they they turn. Uh, there is a uh, means they turn from the uh, from the or uh, you know uh, command of Allah or whatever it is. And sort of Allah, Kulu Bun. So Allah turned their hearts away from them. So so if you, somebody is you know going to kufr, Allah will make him push more towards the kufr. You know, once you wow. once you once the, uh, the once the guidance has come to you and then you deny, you go away from that one. Allah will make you turn more. So in okay. Sarafu is the sigha uh, number thirteen. Uh, three. Fourteen. Oh, no. Three. In Sarafu is sigha number three. Three. Yeah, yeah sigha number three. Yeah. Three. Three. Okay. Three. 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 that is is not uh, that allah doesn't turn their heart until you do it before you you, you change the meaning yeah okay yeah so let's see i just i'm going to write it down you guys keep talking about it inshallah <laughs> go ahead allah yeah. so 
Again, Brother Murad, they, they avoid it, so therefore Allah made their Jee. hearts away. Yeah, yes. I try yes. that. That's, uh, that's the right way to tell. Yes, exactly. So what is your sister Homa saying? Said, so they avoid it. Those people, they avoid it. That's why Allah made their heart away. I don't know. Should okay. I tell no, you? It's, 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 oh, yes, Sister yes. Lubna is here. I was missing you. They denied the guidance. Hey guys, guys, give me a second. Give me a second. Sister Lubna, you came at the right time because I was hoping that you were here to help us out. Go ahead. Sarafallahu Kluguhum. To Pir Dia Allah ne unke dilok. Oh, mashallah. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, um, a better place. Yeah, that seems uh, uh, very close to what it seems like. Okay. Jazakallah khairan. So let's take a look at this. And I'm gonna, I'm going to take this opportunity to at least, uh, maybe we are not sure about the meaning, but at least we want to see how we look at this. Okay, so let's look at this together. Okay. So first of all, we look at in sarafu. Yeah. So we know that in sarafa is the verb here, right? Yes. Yes. In sarafa, right? Now the the fu part here is the zamir, right? What zamir is here? Um, De. Home. Right? Yeah. Okay. So is that my file? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this little piece here is one verbal sentence. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In Sarah, who? Uh, if I say they, they turned away. They turned away. Turned away. Agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Now we have been doing some analysis. After that, what is what is the next possible thing we want to look for if we have the fail and the fire? Before. Before, right? Before. Before. Okay, Before. look. So next we have Sarafa Allah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is Sarafa fail? Yes. 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 Right. Is it the Siga number one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Madi, right? Yeah. Yes. So we can have a possible outside file. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Allah in the status of Rafa? Yeah. Yes. 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 So we have the file here, right? Yes. Yeah. And is Kulubu home? Is the Kulub and Hom Mudaf Mudafale? Okay, Mudaf Mudaf when it comes Mutaalik. Yeah. Okay, so now tell me something. If fail plus file and Mutaalik, is that a verbal sentence? Yes. 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 Okay. So this verbal as a whole, can it will be my maful? Yes. Be he? Yeah. For this one? Yes. You guys see that? Yes. So there are two verbal sentences with the second being a verbal sentence itself, but becoming the maful be he for the first the sentence. sentence. They turned away, and that will be the Saraf Allahu Ulubuhum. Allah and their hearts. Turn. Their yeah, heart. Are we good that so far? That is what I said. Yeah. Yes. They turned away when so, Allah so, turned their heart. So, so what we say? They turned away. And so, now, Sita Lubna, you said something in Urdu. What do you said? Wo phir gaye. Wo phir gaye. Gaye. To phir diya Allah ne unke dinon ko. To phir diya. Allah ne unke dilon ko. Allah ne unke dilon ko. Yeah? Sorry. Nazar aare? Yes. Ab isko English mein translate karein zara. Who's going to do it? Yeah, it's the same one. They turned away. We go oh, phir gaye. They turned away. So Allah then, turned away. So, yeah. so Allah turned their hearts. Yes. Okay. Jab phir gaye, to Allah ne unke dilon ko phir diya. Are we good with this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And but we, we also got that how we we don't want to jump to the conclusion, but we want to do our the, the due diligence and look at all the things. Yes. Brother Abid. Yes, Brother Fulham. Can you please tell which uh, which ayah or which 
which chapter this is so we yeah it's kind of hard to me to surat toba thank you the last number thank you this is surat toba thank you okay let's see if if this surat toba then we will have our information very nicely done uh, sorry over here so surat toba i don't know if i have surat toba here 127 what is the aya number aya number 127 okay. surat toba so, is 9 okay let's take a look at it before we break because this will be a good uh, conclusion for the aya surat toba mm 9 right Okay, and you said verse number one two seven. One two seven. Okay, so we gotta go. Oh, that's towards the end, so maybe we can go to ten and come back. One twenty seven. You said right. Fifteen. Oh, one twenty seven. You said one twenty seven. Yeah. No, so no, maybe no, we no. can go no, to no, ten no. and come back. Surah Tawbah is correct. Ayah number one twenty seven. Yes. So instead of Surah, well, let's go to Surah Yunus. Yunus, and then come back. Yeah. Let's do that. So this is one twenty three, and that is one twenty seven. Yeah. Saraf, saraf oh, Allahu kulubuhum. An sarifu. Let's look at it. Yeah. They turned away, has turned away Allah their hearts. Yes. An nahum kama yafkahun because they are the people who do not understand, understand. or yeah. listen or understand. Right. Yeah. So this this was part of the surah, part of the verse, not the complete surah. But look at this an sarifu. We looked at. That and that is in in the alim from in kalaba yan kalibu they turn away in sarafa and also from daraba sarafa you see yeah got it so we mashallah with the help of sister lubna we got almost close to where we wanted to be are we good alhamdulillah brother Alhamdulillah. Abid, before we break can you do the corpus quran for that verse oh. um, But it's not available. In I was going there, uh-huh. but uh, I saw that they do not have Surah Tawbah here unless uh-huh. you find it. They don't have all the surahs in here. Uh-huh. So that's another problem. They may be working on it, but they don't have Surah Tawbah in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, I would have gone there right away. Right. So for me, this is another closest thing I can do. Okay. So let's quickly finish. This. before we break off we at least uh, have a conclusion about this one right okay so we got this okay the next one is in kadara yan kadiru in kidaran okay gadla ho jana okay from surah wa izan najumun kadarat when the stars will fade away or they will they lose their shining okay In baasa, yan baisu, in biasan, put khada hona from izim baasa ashkaha. Which surah is that? I just surah to shams. Yeah, surah to shams. Uh, from the family of the the uh, the story of the the she camel. When, yeah, no. Uh, Hazrat Saleh yes. said, "Don't Saleh. touch the camel." But then a, a person came out, uh, stand up, and he cut off her. What do you call it? Neck or something, right? So you know that this this one from in talaka yan taliku in talakan chalna la yan taku la yan taliku lisani. यहाँ पे क्या है कि ज़बान मत चलाओ. Don't ज़बान नहीं ज़बान नहीं चलाओ, right? In kalaba yan kaliku we looked at that. वापस मुड़ना. वापस मुड़ जाना. वो yan kaliku ila ahli. Ahli ki masura. यानी ये हमने पढ़ा था कि जिसकी अमाल नामा अमाल उसके राइट हैंड में दिए जाएंगे वो अपनी फैमिली की तरफ खुश होकर मुड़कर जाएगा मसरूर मीन खुशी खुशी जाएगा मसरूर अहली ही हिज फैमिली इला टूवर्ड यन कलीबो वापिस मुड़कर जाएगा fan fajarat minhu usnata ashrat aina we looked at fan fajarat minhu usnata ashrat aina yes in kataa yan katiu in kita an kat jana iza matal insanu in kataa anhu amalahu jab insaan mar jata hai to uski amal kat jata hai kat jati illa 3 right we know that yes. 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 okay in shakaka or in shakka yan shakku <coughs> is a sama un see the same pattern 
is a sama un. Okay. Im baga yam. Im baga an. Shayani shan hona. Okay. Wama alamna hu shira. Wama yam bagila. Ye aap sala sala. Ye hamne unko share nahi shaya. Or now won ke shane. Shane shane. He is not a poet. When somebody says. Surah Yasin. Surah Yasin. This is yes. This is the answer Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala gave them that we did not uh, uh, talk uh, poetry to him, and it does not suit him either. That's what the meaning. So, so inshallah, this is the end of this uh, first part. Can we connect around, uh, let's say, eleven twenty? Let's take a ten minute break. Yes. yes. So, see you soon, inshallah. Jazakallah. Inshallah.
السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے سو ویر آل بیک الحمدللہ so let's let's quickly go over this uh, the family we are looking at and inshallah um, we'll continue with this next week oh, but let's just quickly look at it uh, so is everybody back can i get some feedback so that i can start yes assalamu alaikum okay well, uh, okay so so this family is istifalun okay So the extra words here is three extra letters, uh, three extra words, and we have to look at the the Mazi pattern. But let's look at the words first. Istighfar. Are we familiar with istighfar? Yes. 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 Istiqbal. Yes. Right. Istighfar. Istighfar. Right. Takabur karna. Istihsal. And istighfar. Yeah. Istihqam. Yes. Istidraj. Right. Istikhlaf. And, and in this one is uh, they come in the beginning. Istafala. Yeah. So in the the difference between infaala and istafala, the fa has become sakin. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, but they the fa ain and lam are still. connected with each other in one way. so if i say in istifa what are the root letters wain fa and ra wain fa and ra right and if you have to tell me from salasi mujarrad that will become ghafara mm. yes? yes so if you have to put ghafara in istighfar uh, istifala it will become istighfara <laughs> istighfar right? and don't we say we're doing istighfar because that's how you that now yastaghfiru yastafilu istafala yastafilu if you have to put wa fara in this it will become yastal yastafiru yes and how do we say the master istighfaran Right? Is the, yeah, is the run, which is O. Okay, then we know the fourteen variation. Is the ala, is the ala, is the alu, right? Is the alat, is the alata, is the al na. Now try to put somebody put the ra fara here. Is the fara, is the fara. right So, if we look at the the mudari pattern, it will be yastaf ilu, yastaf ilani, yastaf iluna. So yastaf firu, yastaf ilani, yastaf iluna. So you see the word yastaf iluna in the Quran sometimes. Yes. You minuna, yafkahuna, taqiluna, you minuna, right? Those are on the same pattern like this. Okay. Ask something. to ask something when you see this pattern istifal it is used to ask for something ask for something regarding the verb you're talking about right yes. if you're saying ghafara which means to forgive yeah. then you are asking for forgiveness istighfara yeah. mm-hmm. hello if you understand it like that that whatever the action is you are asking for that so i give you an example of ghafara ghafara mean to forgive forgive So if you are asking for forgiveness, say istighfar. Yeah, and like the bab in in faal, the hamdatul wasl, the hamza of istighfar is also hamdatul wasl. Yes. Making sense? Yeah. Only one hamza is katay hamza, which is babe ifal. Okay, good. So ghafara, the the root words are ghafara, 
istaghfara yastaghfiru istaghfaran which mean bakshish mangna to seek forgiveness istaghfirullah istaghfirullah right so what are you saying you're asking forgiveness from allah, allah. Okay, now if we look at this for for a second now can somebody do a grammatical analysis here so istaghfiru istaghfiru right look at the what is the verb here istaghfiru yes af astagh astaghfir right so is it siga number 1 by the way yes yes right and if you say allah no istaghfiru istaghfiru is uh sigan oh, wait because allah allah here is in nasab right so allah is yeah sigan number 3 but there is no wow here there is no wow yeah right okay so this is the first siga this, this is the first siga so he he asked for forgiveness from allah, allah. yes is he going to say But this yes. is astaghfiru, not istaghfiru. Can we do the surface saghir for this? Then, then becomes I. I seek forgiveness from Allah. I seek forgiveness from Allah. So that's right. But surface saghir, I I have to find the ayah for that to do that. So if you can come up with an ayah, then we can talk about it. Let's let's continue. We'll we'll come back to this. Okay. Before I do this, let's go to our PDF because we have some examples with. some translation in there and it's in english so it will help other people as well okay so this family how do we form this family <coughs> we, we prefix ista to faala ista to faala yeah and then the table of sulfa saghir will be istafala for past tense and here the example istaghfara right yastaghfiru or yastafilu yastaghfiru is taghfir will be the amr yeah and what is the noun or the verbal uh, masdar istifalun istighfarun got it yes. and what is the active participle the person ismul fa'il mustafilun mustaghfirun who's mustaghfirun the person who is seeking, seeking forgiveness forgiveness, forgiveness. and and we're not going to talk about the passive so we'll leave it alone the main characteristics of this form is that it often expresses the seeking asking or demanding as expressed in the root form meaning ghafara to pardon to forgive istaghfara will be to ask for pardon azina to permit istazana to ask for permission yes right alima to know is ta'lama to seek knowledge knowledge nasara to help is tansara to, to seek i think these four examples should make it pretty clear right yeah yes yes <laughs> there will not be no maful of it because it's all lazim okay on the file file is more focused on the verb itself right and and the file yeah. the form indicates a certain quality rather rabit rather rabit ji brother question here we have istaghfara where the uh, the word that you ask for astaghfirullah mm -hmm. what is the different istaghfara astaghfirullah yes we will come back allah, to that ask allah his pardon okay so when you, when you read that because see this is i don't know the answer on top of my head but we'll get back to that so let's just continue with this yes that that could be siga number 14 so we'll we'll come back to that so let's just hold on to that thought right so this form indicate a certain quality which a person may or may not have for example aguma to be great istazama to regard as great okay karuma to be generous istakrama to regard as generous okay asuna as you get and istahsana to regard as good <clears throat> and this is <clears throat> sorry what happened 
this form is the reflexive of the form six, I believe. If yeah. if Allah, if Allah, nine, form nine, not six. Form nine, if Allah. Akbara to inform. Is takbara to seek or gather information? You see the difference between akbara and is takbara? Uh -huh. To seek or gather information. Aslama to give up, to deliver. Is taslama to surrender. Making sense? Uh -huh. Okay. Now here is a, a special case. When the ya comes in place of lam, as in is tafta, then the pattern is observed as follow. Istafta, yastafti, istafti, istifa, istifta un, mustaftin, and then the, the, the majhul, let's not do that. Okay, so this is another example for if there is a ya come, then you have this. What is istafta, by the way? To seek fatwa. To seek legal opinion. Right? Mm -hmm. In our sharia, what we call? Yes. Fatwa. Fatwa, right? So when you are seeking a fatwa, you will say istafta. Okay. Examples, the very common example which we read every day. Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nastain. Nastain. So if you look at this one over here, and here we can see nastain right here. From ain, wow, noon. Okay. And mm -hmm. Istagfara yastagfiru istifalun the pattern. Istaana yastainu istain mustainun mustaanun istaanatun. Now have you heard Allah Allahu mustaan right? Allahu mustaan yeah. Hmm. So Allah is the one who provides help right? So hmm. here is the the surface agi for nastain okay. Over here, let's look at another example. Innama yastajibu lazina yasmaun. Yastajibu mean only those will respond who listen. Got it? Who listens is allazina yasmaun. Who listen, right? Yastajibu is respond. This word yastajibu is has, is it madi or mudare? Mudare. Right. So that's why you saw the alamat mudare Yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, over here we have is starting Istajibu. with uh, Hamzatul Wasl. Istajibu. 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 To, to your Allah. Well, li wali Let them also with a will listen to my call and believe in me. But if they do not respond to you, sartu min al khair. I would have had abundance of, of good. Of good. You see, there are so many combinations of the same pattern yes. here. Is yes. it from Surat Nu, right? Yes, yeah, Surat Nu. Okay, so should we quickly take a Surat Nu? And I also had uh, Takweer here, but maybe let's not change it. But you guys got the idea, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what else we have? Right? Um, and I did seek to make him yield himself to me, but he abstained. Right? Afala yatubuna ilallahi wa yastaghfirunahu. Again, yastaghfirunahu is pila mudari here. Wal yastaghfirina bil ashar. This is more like Ismul Fail, Mustaqfirina. Yeah. So that is uh, the example from Bab in Faal. And let's see if I can uh, continue from here. So we looked at this one. We looked at that. Istabdala 
يستبدل استبدالا بدلنا جاها اتستبدلون الذي هو ادنى بالذي هو بالذي هو خير سوره البقره بقره سوره when they asked for when they used to get manno salwa and yeah. they said no we want uh, onions and uh, you know basal yeah the uh, garlic and other those yeah. things then musa alay salam atastabdiluna do you want to change badalna mean to change allazi huwa adna which is very you know lower quality then huwa khair meaning the, the food from allah qualities you want to change it with the food from the earth which you can get it yourself right yeah. what was the main thing about manno salwa the main thing was they, they did not have to do any hard work to get it yes right they don't have to do any cultivation they don't have to irrigate the land they don't have to wait for it to you know what do you call it, to ripe up or you know when the when the crop comes out they used to get manno salwa every day just by they used to come to them the 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 the, the protein in the form of the birds and that um, the liquid which used to come on the plants right so that was a adna means something of low quality khair mm-hmm. is the best are you getting this idea what i'm trying to say yeah yeah okay istama yastaimu istama to ask for food istam is istata ama is istat ama ahlaha okay what is that mean why they are not asking food for family no not why uh, because is is the Uh, they they are uh, asking uh, for uh, uh, food uh, for the family they ask uh, for, for the food family. for them sir, and for okay, their good. families okay okay that's fine start here start here start jaldi mangna ujlat ha ujlat ujlat kya hoti hai you want you hurrying up you are you are rushing it right jaldi jaldi kare jaldi kare wa yasta jiluna ka bil azab allah they are asking they are rushing in asking for इंग्लिश में कैसे कहेंगे ब्रदर बोला नहीं फर्मनेस और or to become permanent karar anybody nahi which surah is this anybody has an idea okay fa in istaqarra makanahu fa sawfa tarani i think this is the verse about shaitan allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that they can look at you from where you cannot see them no 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 i'm wrong this is wrong okay i have, i don't want to guess here anybody has an idea please help me out if not then we'll take it as a homework okay is there anything so i'm going to move on what happened to the sisters what's going on sisters so onaiza yes. is yes. still here yes Sister yeah yeah Uma? alhamdulillah you guys have become really quiet <laughs> okay istaukada yastaukidu इसका क्या मतलब होता है आग रोशन करना आग रोशन करना टू लेट अ फायर आई थिंक आई एम गोना गेट एन एग्जांपल फ्रॉम सूरह अल बकरा अगेन यस मसल 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 ओके गुड सो ब्रदर इजाज मे बी यू कैन गिव द एग्जांपल हियर मसलुहुम का मसल लजी दिस कौन नार लम्म अदात मा हौलहु No, you know the meaning of this ayah or no? Yes. Okay, can you please help out? Iski masal aise hai jaise unhone aag no roshan ki. Okay, so now please explain in English. It uh, their ex uh, their example is of those uh, similar to that that they lit the fire. Okay, so the example of yeah, go ahead, Sister Munaisa. You want to say something? I said their example is like one who has kindled the fire. Mm, yeah, very good. So, inshallah, that's good enough. Okay, 
istaana yastainu istaanatan we look at it madad talab karna ya ka nabudu wa ya ka nastain so alhamdulillah we looked at that istaska yastaski istaska an pani mangna so you know the salatul istaska yes you know when we pray the salatul istaska what is the meaning of that we are asking for allah for rain for rain yeah. yes So the verse we have from Surah Al-Baqarah. Why is this taska 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 so Musa alayhi salam asked water for nation or his people. Istaf, Meaning you want complete share or the full share and this is from mus uh, the sura mutaffafin right mutaffafin allazina allazina yastawfun yes yes wa iza kaluhum that they when they ask for their share they ask for full share right because what was the context when they used to give to the people they used to cut yeah, it short less to give them less or when they ask something for themselves they ask for the whole share yeah, like well. is that Yeah. Okay. Istahya, 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 istahyi, istiha, han. Sharmana, zinda rakna. To be shy and to stay alive. Yes. Wallahu la istahyi min al haq. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala does not shy from the truth. The yes? telling from uh, okay. min al haq from the truth. Okay. From the truth. Yeah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala shy away from the truth. yuzabbihuna abnakum wa yastahyuna nisaakum so they used to slaughter their sons their sons yes. and leave their women alive wa yastahyuna nisaakum their women they used to leave them alive and yuzabbihuna slaughter abnaakum their sons sons gare unke beton ko zaba karte the aur betiyon ko zinda rakhte the bilkul So we know that. Uh, so we got this gone. Um, so we still have fifteen minutes. Are we good? Yeah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. One second, please. Okay, so we have time to maybe look at a small verse, and uh, we have been looking at Surah Al-Mulk, right? So the last time we we read this verse, "Aaz Billahi Min Al-Shaytani Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim." Wa lil lazina kafaru bi Rabbihim azab wa jahannam. And for those who disbelieved in their Lord, is the punishment of hell. Wa biksal masir, and this is the wretched destination. So the next verse is saying, "Is a ulku fiha." So what are we saying here? And when they are thrown fiha, they're in in what? In the jahannam. Sami ulaha, they will hear from it, shahi kaun wahiya tafur, and inhaling while it boils up. Boils up. So, so the meaning is when they are thrown into it, they hear from it. A dreadful inhaling while it boils up. जब वो इसमें डाले जाएंगे तो इसका चीखना चिल्लाना सुनेंगे और वो जोश मार रही होगी. So first of all, Allahu ma Rabbana la tajalna minhum, Allahu ma ijalna min al nar. Allah Taala may protect us from the fire. So basically, this is the the description of hell. And so who will enter into it may allah protect us from it amen right so here we saying allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the exalted says and the meaning we have prepared for those who disbelieve in their lord is the torment of hell and worse indeed is that destination this means that this will be the worst end and a terrible destiny agree We know that that is a terrible, terrible destiny. 
Okay. So is a ulkufiha sami ulaha shahik. When they are cast therein, they will hear it shahik. Ibn Jarir said this means the sound of shouting. Okay. Now, from our personal examples, when you are boiling water in the kitchen, and when the boiling is on the top of its heat, what kind of bubbly sound it makes, right? Yeah. Yes. Right? There's a lot of noise. So obviously, when the noise is coming, you know that this water or oil or whatever you're cooking is really hot, right? So this is what they, they're talk, trying to give us an example of uh, by, by trying to explain that what is this shouting and loud, loud noise. So if there is a fire in a big quantity or a large, you know, quantity, then, then the noise will be louder too, correct? Mm -hmm. So this means the sound of shouting. While it is simmering, what did that mean? It will boil them just as a small number of seeds are boiled in a lot of water. I don't want to explain. I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about here, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it almost burst up with fury. You know, when something is boiling really hot, it is bubbling up, right? It's almost burst up with fury, meaning some parts almost break apart from other parts due to the severity of its rage and anger with them. Okay, that means anger. And that's the next verse. So we're not looking at that. So we'll just stick with what is the ulkufiha sami ulaha shahikum wahiyata four. So if you look at the uh, the Quran corpus, so iza mean when, yes. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is giving us a preview of these people who disbelieve when they will be thrown into fire. So what will happen? So when ulku. If you look at the word ulku, which is over here, did I close it? Let's see if I can take you back to ulku. Let me I open it. What are we looking for? 67, right? So we can move yeah. And we are looking at ulku. So show it up here. It's from Ba if alun. Yes? And there is a lam, kaf, and ya. So because of ya, there is a weak letter in it, right? So it becomes alqa, yulki, alki. So if you do the 14 variation, the alku will be siga number three. Agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, where were we? We were here. So alku is the verb. Now, what is the file in there? Um. Oh, sorry. Um, right? But remember, I said this is ulku. There is a dhamma on which means it's a majhul. Majhul, yes. Majhul, right? So then yeah. in majhul, we don't know the file. So we call it naif file. Naif nice. file means a substitute file. They are thrown. So we're not, they're saying they, he threw, they threw, or they, they, are, they, they threw, they are thrown him, themselves in the ulku, majhul, right? Now, are we talking about Jahannam? Yes. yes. Is Jahannam feminine or masculine? Feminine. So we use fi ha. Now fi is a harf jara. Yes. Yes. And ha is the pronoun. Pronoun for and Jahannam. For gonna be hua or hia? Hia. Hia. So hia is the rafa. What is the Majroor part of hiya, ha. You know what I mean? Remember the table of Rafa and the Nasabanjar for pronouns? Yeah. If I say hiya, what is the status of hiya? Rafa. Hiya is from the status of Rafa. Rafa. So the ha is from the hu and ha. Hua, hiya. Hu, ha. Remember that part? Mm. Okay, only one person is saying that. So that doesn't yes. Happen. Yes. Right? So fiha in it or therein. When they are thrown, yeah. therein. Because in the previous verse, the mention was Jahannam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not use the word Jahannam again. He says fiha therein. Sami'u. 
Is Sami are something we are familiar? Sami are? Yeah. yeah. Sami U. They will hear. They will hear. Sami U. They will hear. Laha. Now, Laha. Look at Laha. Is Laha same thing as Fiha? Yes. Yeah. Here again, Lame Jara here. And ha, because of Lame Jara, what is the status of our Zamir? We need the Zamir of status of church. Yeah. Okay, Sami Ulaha. So in here, Al Ulku Fiha is one verbal sentence. Okay. Now, when you say they are thrown in their in, isn't that sound like a conditional sentence? Yeah. Yes. When they are thrown, right? So only the, the, the next part will only be after when they are thrown in there. So there is a condition. Shart ko kya gate English me? Condition. Condition. So this is a jumla shart. Jumla Sharatiya has three parts. It has the, the, the word which starts the, the Sharat, which is Iza. Iza is the harf to start the condition. What is the condition itself? Ulkufiha. Okay? Ulkufiha. That means when they are thrown in there. That is the Sharat part. That is the condition. Then what is the Jawabe Sharat? What is the answer to that Sharat? What will be the result of that Sharat? Sami ulaha shahi kaun wahiya tafur. Are you guys with me, guys? Please help me. Yeah, um, yeah. Yes. Okay. So try to understand it like this. In English, we have if then else. Yes? Yeah. What is if then else? If there is an if condition, <coughs> there will be two results. Result one or result two. Yes. yes. Two. If the condition result one. If the condition is not met, result two. Yes? Yes. Yeah. So here, same idea. We have is a starting that conditional sentence. When they are thrown in their hellfire, only then they will hear the shahik from it, the, the inhaling. And what will be the hal of that? Well, here the food while it boils up. Now, what is hal? Remember, if I say Khalid enters the room laughing. Mm -hmm. So what is the condition of Khalid? Laughing. 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 So over here, when they are entered into the fire, what is the status or what is the condition of that fire? It's boiling, boiling up. up. Yes? Yeah. Are you guys with me on this? What's yeah. going on here? So Iza is the harf e shart. Ulku fiha is the condition of sentence, which is a verbal sentence, and the jawab e shart is another verbal sentence, which is sami ulaha shahikam wahiya tafur, and the hal of that, the shahik is that, or the jahannam is, it is boiling up. Now, remember earlier when I showed you this, uh, this information here, you see that, this piece of information? Yeah. Remember how I said there is one verbal sentence yeah. and there is another verbal sentence? Yes. yes? yes. And then I said yes. this verbal yes. sentence has the file, the fail and the file. And now I'm looking for maful, but the maful be he is in the form longer verbal sentence, which itself has a fail and a file and a mutali. You see how this is structure? If if you if you think about it uh, in a mathematical thing, it is like there is a <laughs> Parenthesis here, and then there is a parenthesis here, and then there is a parenthesis here, and there is a parenthesis here. You follow? Yes. Yes. So if you look at that information now, when I'm showing it to you in the uh, look at here, so there is a verbal sentence here, which is ulfu fiha. That is one bracket here. Yeah. That is the condition. That's why I say shart. And you're going back to Iza, which is the starting sentence of a shar Shartiya, Iza. When they are thrown in there in, what is the jawab -e shar which is a big, long verbal sentence. But in there, we have a small verbal sentence and a nominal sentence. And then this verbal sentence here as well. You follow? So within the brackets, there are more brackets here. Who can see that? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Naseen? 
Yes, I can see that this is a uh, something new shirt than job shirt. Yeah. So here, look at the sami ulaha. Okay, first of all, look look at sami u. Uh -huh. Is sami u verb and a file? Yes. 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 So we got the verb and the file, but we're not done yet. Laha is laha jar majru. Yes. yes. Yeah. So we know that in a verbal sentence, we can have verb file. Mutalik and a maful bihi. Yes. So is sami ulaha shahi kaun? Is all three or all four ingredients are there? The verb is there, the file is there, the mutalik is there, and maful bihi is there. Shahi kan, yeah. Shahi kan. Now, is shahi kan in a halat nasab? Yes. So in a verbal sentence, when you see something in halat nasab, isn't that the object? Yes. Good. Is everybody else able to see that, Sister Unaiza? Yeah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Brother Murad? Yes, yes. Okay. Brother Javed is quite, very quiet. Brother Javed. Brother Javed? Sorry, I have some emergency. I cannot. Oh, no worries. Okay, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Uh, Brother Khalid, you're good? Yeah, yeah Alhamdulillah. Okay, Brother Khuram? Yes, thank you. Brother Abzal? Ji, brother, thank you. Okay. So, Sami Ulaha Shahikau is one verbal sentence. Then we have the wow, which is Harfi Ataf, isn't it? Yes. Or... So over here, the translation of wow is not and. Remember in Arabic, the translation of wow can also be while. So, in this context, it's not and, it is while. Wahia. Now, when you see here, is he a, a pronoun? Yes. yes. And what is the status of he? Female. Mm. Female is, the, is not the status, that's the gender, right? Yeah. Is it Rafa, Nasab, or Jar? Rafa. 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 Very good. So if you see a sentence starting with the Rafa and it's a noun, what kind of <coughs> sentence is that? <clears throat> Nominal. Nominal sentence. Nominal sentence, right? So that's Wahia is the Muktada. So don't forget about the nominal sentence, right? I know we don't see much of nominal sentence, but we that's the first thing we covered, right? Wahia is what? Muktada. Muktada. So if we have Muktada, don't we need a khabar? Yes. So Tafur is the khabar. Because Tafur is, there is a verb and a file. There is a hiya hidden in it. Tafur. Because of, we are talking about fire. So that is a small verbal sentence, and that verbal sentence is become the khabar for hiya. And hiya and tafur, this khabar, uh, muktada and khabar become nominal sentence, which becomes the hal for sami'u. What, what in which hal they are going to hear this noise when it's boiling up? Can you guys see that big picture now or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, so, so as a homework, maybe you guys can, uh, can you try to write it down like this? Yes. On yes. a piece of paper, like, like take a piece of paper, right? And I have been sharing with you the PDF document, right? Where we have the, the description. So can you guys write it down like this, like on a piece of paper and then make these lines yourself? Who can do that for me? We'll do inshallah. Can, you, can I count on you that during the week maybe you can send me this information? Yeah. Inshallah. Okay, inshallah. So for, so, for, this, for this particular ayah, inshallah? Yeah, yeah, for this one. Because if you... Hmm. See, I, I have a feeling that we started the grammatical analysis but since you guys were not part of my original uh, you know, team when I started from very basic. So I kind of started you on a little bit of an advanced level, right? Yes. Meaning that... I, I show you this on a on the screen and not do the, the work with you on the piece of paper. So yes. in the next class, we are going to do this in a very basic way so that you understand how to do it. But in order to get that, you do the prerequisite. Try to copy all of this on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Try to make these lines yourself and see why they are they, the way they are. What is the shirt? What is the verbal sentence? What is the mafulbi? So you label them the way I did it. 
when I was doing this. Remember, I was stuck on this. As you can see, I'm also a student, right? So sometimes I may not know everything on top of my head. So what I did, I did some homework, right? I just wrote down and I wrote it down what I know. And when I wrote it down, it started to make more sense because now I can put the two and two together. You follow what I'm saying? If you are in a, if you're a mathematical student, do you think you can do all the calculation in your head? Yes. Not, not no. always. No. You need a cheat sheet. Right? <laughs> Depends what kind of calculations. So you're going to need a cheat sheet to do your little math on the site, right? Yeah. So that you can come up with the answer. So this was my cheat sheet. Okay, I said in Sarafu is one thing. This is one thing. Then I labeled them properly. Then I made the graph and I said, okay, this meaning is this, this meaning. So this is how we got this uh, translation. You follow me what I'm trying to say here? Yes. Okay. All right, so Jazakallah khairan. Inshallah, we will, uh, I hope that in today's we had a lot of um, uh, information and I'm sure, I hope that you guys enjoyed and benefited. So Jazakallah khairan for coming and Inshallah, don't miss the next class because that is our summary and conclusion. So I'm going to be hoping that, that everybody should show up. Are we going to show up, inshallah? Inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. Jazakallah. Subhanallah. 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 Subhanallah.